everyone, this is Sue from Innkeeper's Journal. I have um, some journals ready I would like to share with you. They are open spine journals. This is kind of the first time I made an open spine journal. I was watching uh, Heather on Ruby and Pearl XO and uh, I was kind of inspired by her to, to create some. So what I did was I had a lot of um, cardstock pages that I don't really use too much. So I thought I'm going to create kind of an artist journal. So because they are open spine, they lay open flat and then the pages are all like cardstock so you can create your own um, art pages in there. And I added some different types of elements with them for things that you can use. So we'll go through them kind of quickly. Uh, one is a little bigger than the others. They're all just they're just different sizes. So we'll start with this one. Um, this is the lace I used. It's got some beadwork there. It's a little French card in here. It's to think of, or to dream of. So that's the word. Fits in there. And she's a lady with some kind of flowers and just different paper on here. The inside cover is this pretty fabric that I like, so I just kind of left it plain. And like I said, now the pages are all just, there are some pockets and different things, but um, basically the pages are all just plain for you to create something um, in there. This is some textured or homemade paper that you can use. Um, they have just, just hinge with some fabric. Like I said, they, they, they lay real flat. This is just a tag that I stuck in here. Um, this, is a napkin, or this is a napkin page. It's not really, um, it's, it's not glued down. So it's just, you know, it's just lightly glued in there. So you can kind of take that out. This is a piece of fabric with some dots on it. So then I just, Kind of paper clipped it on there so that then a little flop around when you and this is just some cardstock that's kind of crinkled up and painted on. This is just a page in here that kind of used a hinge in there. This is a recipe page. You can cut up or tear up. There's some fabric up in here and another pocket with some lace. Like I say, they're all just, you know, the pages are all plain and ready for your creations. I think in some of, uh, one of the pages I did, is a couple pieces of wallpaper. One of the pages I did do kind of a collage, it's kind of copying Heather to see if I can't create like she does. So I just think it's kind of really, just so beautiful what she does. And some tags in here and this piece of paper flips up. Uh, so this is a pocket down there. And this just, kind of laying in there's a little piece of fabric in there and some paper. This is like a use this for stenciling or cut it apart. It's a little guest check in there and a number and uh I can't remember what those are called. It's like a time card I guess you'd call it. So it's a kind of tried to stencil like she does. She does such a good job, so it's kind of fun to create. And it's just it's a fabric to use. You know, like this is just like your canvas to create. This is a piece of fabric you can cut up and use in there. It's just this little sequin piece in this. It's kind of a page from an album. I dyed the paper in there and it's just a pocket I kind of created tucked it in this little band down here. It's another piece of wallpaper. Another piece of fabric in there. And this just, you know, flips out. So you can kind of create, either take it out and tear it up or it's just a lot of different things. I think this is a playing card and a little envelope. This is an aged dyed paper towel and Some, add some texture. It's an old piece of quilt with a charm and a bald pin. And uh, try to. This is not 
this is real, not real. It's just kind of a fake. I tried to create kind of a little specimen there. This is the page that I collaged on here. I tried to. I think there's a. Well, this is a tag that sticks in here, and there's a pocket in here. You can stick different things in. This is just another page. Some stuff in here, and a tag, and some paper, some aged paper, and wallpaper, and a couple tags in here. And this just kind of hangs down here on the bottom. I think it's like a, I think it goes on Christmas trees or something. It's another piece of wallpaper, transparent paper with this pretty embroidered piece. It's a paper clip on it. It's a piece of the fabric here. A couple pieces of paper here. This is an envelope that has a just a piece of paper in it. The envelope has the same, you know, kind of match. Just trying to create some of these. I don't have them in my Etsy store yet, but it's kind of fun to create. This is a pocket. It is on the page. There's a piece of paper stuck in here. And some pens. Uh, Tracy. No, what is that? I don't know. It's like someone gave me some of this. This is a real sheer paper. Not really tracing paper. Not really onion skin either. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a pocket up here. And I just put a photo in this pocket back here and some fabric and some pieces of trim up here. So, and that's the back the paper on and so that's that's the first artist journal so what they're created for is for you to take them and create your own artist journal of things you like to glue in or you can write in them too but uh, like I said the pages aren't really paper they're cardstock but you can still write on them this has a this is means treasure it sticks in here it's a little French word card and this is all glued down and this is the this spine looks like some ribbon and bead work there. <clears throat> this is some fabric here. It's a fabric hinge and there's some papers tucked in this little pocket. I mean, I, I tried to, when I added some of the things in, I tried to add them in so they were some paper here and tag. This is just a calendar page. This is a fabric pocket. This is a girl. She's got a She's kind of glued down. She's got this piece of paper under her. I did some, glued some book board, book board, book page on and then ripped it off and it kind of adds this little, kind of a neat, this kind of fabric hinge. This is a piece of paper in there. This is another one of those little, supposed to look like a dried specimen, but it's not, it's, it's not real. And there's a picture and a piece of paper here, and this is like you can paint over that, or you know, like I said, I, a lot of times in my journals now I don't really use cardstock too much. It bulks up the journal so fast on me, and I always kind of thought I would like to do some art journals, so I created a few more. And this has got some some pattern paper in it, and this lace on the edge. This is a Kind of an envelope. Did a little bit of there's some fabric tucked in up here. This paper and uh, this guy. They're, they're glued down. There's some it's like stenciling there. It's got this piece. It's this piece of paper in here. And same thing here with the. Like I said, they're all kind of similar, but just a little bit different. This is kind of a sheer fabric to use for tabs or and this is the envelope on this page has some and this one I didn't glue shut it's kind of a cool inside to it and this is the paper paper page that goes inside it can be you know used in any way you like in your in your art so the hinges in the page, that page is glued down. This is some fabric 
here in the image and some burlap. Some are just plain. So I did the paper again. This is an envelope that flips down. It's got a time card in it and this piece of paper that just aged paper just laying in there. This is some homemade paper with some lace and some fabric and then ball pin and angels, a couple little beads. This has just this piece of lace inside with this little paper envelope. So that's tucking in there. It's an old piece of quilt with a charm. It's another piece of fabric, sheer fabric. This page opens up and flips open. It's another one of the photo album sleeves with the aged paper. Just kind of tucked under there. This is some, nope, this is some papers. Another one of the, I just hung it on there. And it's the back with some pretty retro fabrics. And then this is the back has a collage of fabrics and sequence pieces. And so that's the second journal. This one is quite big. Got kind of big on me. It's got some uh, printable on there and some trim. And the back is just the printable and sequence piece on there. Like I said, they're all open spines, so they all lay flat. That's got the fabric. So, again, they're, you know, this has got the napkin and the, this has got a tag in it. Some book page and some fabric and the book page and this a little tag in here. Again, it's the same as some fabric here. This is my collage piece in this book here. It's got a little charm, tree charm hanging on and pinned on there. And this is some fabric on here and some tags in this pocket with the paper. This has a piece of aged ephemera in this pocket here. And these, this has got some ruffle. Page lifts up and wallpaper and sheet music pocket. It just has a hinge on it so it keeps your pages so you can do your artwork. This is the envelope in this one. And the old quilt piece with the tree charm and some pieces of ephemera in here. This, I think this opens up. I tried to do a big tag in here with a little tag inside. This is some more wallpaper, uh, old wrapping paper. Book page. This is a pretty linen. And this is, uh, this one flips down. It's got a pocket here. This is some really cool paper. It's a pocket that's sewed around the edges. And this is just a piece of ephemera. It's a little aged. This is a pocket. It's got a wallpaper hinge. And then inside the bag, I kind of did some collaging on there. It's got an old recipe page in there and then a tag, tag in there. Some fabric and some piece pinned down there. This is a pocket. It's a little tuck spot up here. Paper on the back. A little book page from a gardening book. This is another bag with the doily inside here. And this opens up and there's a sequence piece in there. This flips open too. This is a corn envelope with a piece of ephemera tucked in this pocket with this bead spiral ornament on it. This, this piece of ephemera just wraps around and tucks in here. So it is loose on there. Kind of creates a pocket to hold these in. 
Um, this is a piece of fabric. And that's the back. So that's the biggest one. It's a page in that one for artwork. And this is the last one. Back is, so it was a kind of white book. I put this um, book page with the print on there on the front cover. So it's got some papers tucked in here. And a tag and homemade paper. And an envelope with this little image of a girl. And these two pieces of uh, doilies. This is the page in here. It's got a butterfly in a pocket with some lace. Like I said, everything is just kind of supposed to be used for you to create art pages. So, however, this is kind of a really old piece of upholstery. Um, I don't know what. I guess this old piece of all this old upholstery trim or something. It's really cool. So I added that. It's got this image. Piece of fabric up here with a paper clip with some fabric. Some stenciling on here and a little book page. Some lace and this just opens up and everything is just kind of hinged in so that it allows you to have you know, spaces to do your art. This isn't glued shut either. It's an envelope from one. It's a printable from my shop. Oh, it's kind of like a little kit. I'll add that here. It's got this really cool lace pocket. It's so pretty. This is another little uh, piece of ephemera. It's kind of trying to be an envelope, but I didn't glue it shut. It's a tag in here. Some you know, fun collaging on it tried to do some different things that I don't normally do. It's a fabric pocket. This is like a page with homemade paper out of a album and I put a piece of paper in and then this little angel ephemera in there. And this is embossed paper. Just lifts up. This is a little embossed envelope with a doily and some paper and another printable in there. It's just uh, kind of like a, an envelope that's not glued shut. Another piece of the old quilt. The tag in here with a little tag. It's a piece. It's kind of embossed, embossed and aged, and then I glued some different. I was trying to kind of use some ephemera things I had. It's a little piece of paper here. This is the linen in this one. Book page is a place to tuck things up in this fabric banner. And this is a, some more of that old upholstery. I might try to make some bundles of that for people to use. It's, it's kind of neat. Some paper here. This is a bag that I printed on. There were these bright yellow bags, so I printed on them. And I just added some, this is another, um, like an album page. So I put some little piece of um, embellishment piece in there. The side of the bag, this is some paper. This little pocket up here. This is a envelope. This is an old, it's like, Wax paper and pattern paper and a picture in there. I kind of did collaging on those. Tried to try different things. It's kind of fun. This is the other side of the bag. It's got this dig dictionary page in there with a tab. And then she's on the back. So that's the back of that journal. So I'll, uh, it's my four journals. They were very fun to create. I will be listing those in my Etsy store. And if you're interested in uh, purchasing an art journal where you can glue or create collages or paint or like I said, the pages are 
um, sturdy enough to handle any kind of artwork in them, and um, or just to write and journal. So thank you so much for watching. Bye now.